Great solar market is growing exponentially in Tanzania. So we went down to Tanzania to meet with people working in the off-grid solar market and we met with plenty of motivated people who are doing a great job. We met with a number of stakeholders from the Tanzanian off-grid solar industry, including manufacturers, distributors, officials from a World Bank project, the UN and also a private consultant. We had lots of fun doing this project. Follow our journey through this video. Oh, so there is a component of uh, machine learning exactly. involved in yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what what is the other button for? So these are four lights. There is a home smart system. And then this there. is for phone charging. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, Wait, let me find one that has four switches. The female agent. Um, who? Yeah, they ended up. Partnering with the, with the male agents that we had, in the sense that you know, the guys who had motorcycles and they could go and that is a lot more persuasive in making sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're very, very really good. And they would, they would team up, so the guy would technically go and, and do the installation and maybe make the sales, and go back, come back, go forward, come back. It was, so I met with her. And yeah, she, so now she's actually working for an NGO. It's sort of been really amazing about you know these, how how these little boxes can actually um, there's, 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 there's multiple checks to, yes. yeah not not even just the light but also yeah just just to give you know, income to to those and how they how the community is there. Yes, it's no, no. empowering the youth to find uh, a possible path for generating income and uh, employing themselves. Compared to a lot of countries I've been to in Africa, there is a high caliber of well educated people living in Western countries who are coming back. You don't get that in a lot of other countries where you come back. You're just like, oh, let me just get away, like it's easy, it's safe, I can get a stable job. But here there's a lot, there's so many people that you feel like from all over. And you, and many of the high school colleges in the school, or actually the next stage of the region, and here and other great universities across Europe. And that is starting to have an impact because there's also a frustration that we can do better. There's a frustration that we can really, really do better. to Lighting Africa and we want to meet them to understand their action and what they are doing and see the impact they are creating here in Tanzania. But also the other thing that we have not is talking about the urban thing, this is very much a secondary market and I think it has got to do with the tradition of the African people. Okay. I mean most of the people here, including myself, we buy things of our relatives who are in the rural areas. Yes. So also uh, urban market for us or urban areas serve very much as a secondary market of people who purchase solar products for their counterpart. What I see as a gap is uh, there is still a low awareness of you know of the capacity and the opportunity for solar power uh, as an alternative energy in, 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 in urban areas. Yeah.